Okay, our next presenter is Shaista Karim. She's a fourth year PhD student in bioagricultural sciences and pest management. She belongs to an agricultural family and she knew she wanted to study pest management at the age of seven. She was helping her mother harvest tomatoes and poked a tomato with a stick and an army of worms came out of the tomato. Okay, that triggered passion for studying pests and their management strategies. I can, I can see that. <laughs> The title of her presentation today is The Lesson from the Wild. Have you ever bought a bag of potatoes that later started to rot and smell really gross? Did you wonder what is happening? Let me tell you, that is an example of a bacterial disease known as soft rot of potatoes. Imagine this disease as a battle between the bacteria and the potato plant. Once the bacteria encounter the plant, the battle begins. Bacteria then enter into the plant through wounds or natural opening. Once the bacteria win, they kill the plant and turn potatoes into mush. Sadly, in 2015, many cultivated potato varieties all across the United States, the ones that we use for our regular consumption, lost their battle to a soft rot bacterium called Dicchia dianthocola. This led to losses more than $40 million every year. That's a lot of money. When I learned about this disease, I asked myself, do all potatoes lose the battle? It turns out that the wild potato plants have ability to fight back with the bacteria. Therefore, my research focuses on determining what makes the wild potato plant resistant to bacteria so that we can help the farmers to manage this disease? In search of this, I investigated a total of 300 different wild potato plants from diverse geographical locations and found that they possess a unique chemical composition that includes compounds like alkalites and terpenes. The wild potato plants are using these chemicals to hinder the ability of bacteria to acquire the food from potato plant and stop the bacteria from infecting them. These unique chemicals from wild potato plants give us hope to mitigate the yield losses caused by this bacteria. For example, we can use genetic information of these chemicals in breeding program to make the cultivated potato varieties resistant. We may also be able to use these chemicals to spray on the plant to prevent the bacteria from infecting them. This way, we can equip the cultivated potato varieties using the weapons from wild potatoes so that they can be victorious in the battle. Thank you so much.